Elder Scrolls Online. You're wondering, man, I accidentally snatched this item from wherever and how do I get rid of it other than deleting it? Because, you know, I see it's worth whatever money. Stick with me because I'm about to give you that information. Hello, my wolf pack, and thank you all for watching. So you need the Outlaw's Refuge is what you need. And you can see the door behind my character. That's one of the several different doors that you would be looking for. And I'll also show you on the map. You're looking for the Outlaw's Outlaws Refuge. So when you open up your map, if you're on the PlayStation 4, you would press your mouse pad button, that big square button, and you can see here, there is the Outlaws Refuge. It'll say fence, but you know, those are those, when I first started playing, it showed as like the Outlaws Refuge on the map, and now it says fence. Well, you're like a fence, but don't you have to launder it first? Well, yes, you do, but the fence takes care of both of those things. I wanted to show you, you can see you're in the right track because that, you know, the banner on the wall, there's another banner right here. It shows you this is the way that you go in to talk to whomever. I'll move hot and there is the fence in this final. particular place that I'm at. They're all different NPCs. You know, and on the PlayStation, you would press L1, R1, go back and forth between launder and sell. You would first need to launder it. You know, you need to make it clean, right? <laughs> and then you would go ahead and sell it. Or if it's an item you wanted to keep or if it's an item you needed for something else, well, then, um, you know, you would just keep it in your inventory, I guess. And I'm showing you here also, you open up your skills, the ledgerman is where you would get the improved hiding, light fingers, which means you can snatch things a little bit more quickly. And then of course there's a Thieves Guild skill line, and that is an actual quest that you would open up to get that skill line. And yes, I'm gonna show you that too. But now here you look, it's like a sewer opening, I don't know what you would call that, but it's, it's an entrance. And that is another thing that you would be looking for to find your way into the outlaw refuge or outlaws refuge and then here you see it says each refuge has multiple exits one will always lead to an area where guards do not patrol fences buy stolen items and they launder stolen items you may wish to keep so quen i are quick kyun quen yes i believe is her name this is a person that you would find in any of the outlaw refuge to start the Thieves Guild line. And I know this is about selling things, but I thought you might want to know you. that is who you would Over speak here. to to start the Thieves Guild quest line. And I'm taking you out the, the alternate exit. You can see here for this one in particular, it's like, okay, there's stairs there, but then there's a cave. Typically, you would look for the cave. You know, that is your, your sneaky little entrance or exit out the back where there's no guards that are patrolling, which is what they were speaking about in that one particular thing that I was reading to you. See, and then you just climb up the stairs. That's another entrance or exit that you would be looking for in the game. So any of those that I showed you are the most common. I don't know that I've seen any others other than those three, the door and the two sewer-like entrances. I hope you found this helpful. Of course, this was just basic. 101 where to find the outlaws refuge to sell those stolen items on the left hand side of the screen If you want to become a vampire, we'll check out that video on the right You want to be a werewolf? Well, you definitely want to check out that video. Thank you all my wolf pack Have a fabulous day and I will talk to you next time. Happy gaming